a simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check this out, man. I wanted to, I wanted to ask y'all a question. I've been kind of thinking this over and I, I don't know what to do. Uh, this channel started off as a tractor channel with a side of CB radio information and has blossomed more into a radio and review channel and less into tractor repairs. Although I still do a lot of tractor videos and tractor repairs, it just doesn't seem to get the traction it once did. If you remember, I started a second channel. It's been a little over a year now and it has blown up. I mean, it's 6,000 subscribers, I think, somewhere close to that anyway. But its focus is automobiles. The question I guess I had is uh, what to do going forward? Do you want to still see tractor videos here on this site or do you want to maybe start seeing them over on the automotive channel? Or should I start even a third channel? Because I did make one a while back and I just never posted anything on it. Because I was considering if I needed to have a channel that was just for tractors. YouTube's kind of weird when it comes to this stuff. They, they push a certain narrative and they don't understand that people have more than one hobby. Their computer doesn't anyway. It assumes that you just like to play with this or just like to work on that. And, and that's all it does. So it's, it's really, it's not that smart for AI. I think they could do better. Anyway, that's the question I have for you, but let me take you around and show you some of the projects I've picked up. You guys leave in the comments whether you think I should keep the channel the way it is, move it to a separate channel, or move it over to the automotive channel. You let me know. Now let's take a look at some of my winter projects because I'm getting kind of excited. The leaves are off the trees here at the studio, and I'm ready to, I'm ready to get going on this stuff. So take a look at what we got here. I think you may have remembered this from last year, but we've got this old frame here two-seater go-kart and uh, it's a single wheel drive it's a really old girl here i don't know who made this thing i couldn't find any labeling on it but i'm considering putting a diesel engine on that and kind of souping it up making it a live axle just something to play with obviously i'm a little old to be riding around in a go-kart but that doesn't mean i can't have fun building one <laughs> and then over here we got the manco this is uh ready i've got all the parts ready i'm just gonna pull this in when the first flakes of snow start to fall this thing is awesome it is a mini bike but it actually has real suspension it has some pretty decent sized tires with good tread still on it and a little separate gas tank i've got a harbor freight predator engine and a vavor uh, torque converter so this thing is going to scream when it's done and i'll probably not initially anyway but I'll probably at some point i'll put a little light on it but i can't wait to play with that one that's probably going to be the first project this here, you all have seen before, I have not gotten around to doing anything with it. I actually tried to fix it up for a friend, and um, something was wrong with the engine, bigger than we thought. We thought it just needed to have, you know, the usual carb cleaning, points clean, that kind of stuff. Turns out it's, it's, it's locked up, so I'll have to get an engine for it. But it's a really nice, the air, tires still hold air, Lowe's 1136. And the coolest part about that is that it does have a bed, like it has a truck bed, which is such a rarity. And uh, I think these were originally made by Murray, but of course Lowe's, you know, Lowe's did their thing. They, uh, they bought it and rebranded it, and it's, it's a really cool little setup. No deck on that one, so it'll just be a mud or a toy or a creation, whatnot. But still, I love having fun with stuff like that. This one here, I don't think I've ever showed anybody. This is an Eton 90cc uh, two-stroke, and, and it's a pretty cool-looking little ATV, a little small for an adult. And it's missing some parts. The plastic, you can see, major damage to that side of the fender but the rest of it is not in that bad of shape and it's just really not easy to find parts for these things i was gonna kind of toy with that but everything i've touched on it has just fallen apart it's gotten worse then we have the roper rally i made a video on that last year on the main channel and i have been trying to source parts for it um not i mean the engine's a briggs engine but like oh, it had a deck and I thought that it was worth restoring, but it's really hard to find deck pieces and it has a lot of issues with the spindles. And, and so it's kind of rough. It may end up being, oh, I don't know what, it may end up being just nothing really. It may just end up being parts because it's so far gone, but it's a good looking, good looking setup there. And I'll come up the front, you can see the headlights on there. I just think it's got a kind of a cool look to it. The Roper Rally, yeah, nice. Then we got over here, this is a more recent pickup. This is a, another Lowe's tractor. This one is actually runs and drives. It just needs tires, you know, come off the rim there. I just need to hook up my little Harbor Freight mini tire changer and fix that one up. 
and that uh, that's a 12.5 with a 42. It's a it's a flat head. You know the I like these engines the best. I think out of all the engines I mess with, those those flat head engines were just they're durable. They just last, and it's in good shape. It's just a that's plastic. The rest of it's metal. I'm not sure why they went with a plastic hood on that particular one, but it's not broken, so that's a good sign. And then uh, before, well, I guess, you know, I'll show you this too. So this is actually really nice. This is uh, this is from Vavor. This thing here, tough tools, half the price, and they're not kidding. Like so, these kits, like you know, you can get a Dewalt kit or Lowe's and Craftsman sometimes sell these, uh, the Cobalt or Craftsman brands. But it's like a you know a, a very well rounded out tool kit that I picked up from them for like it, was, it wasn't much. Can't remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't terrible. As you can see, it's got uh, standard and metric, quarter, three-eighths, half-inch, deep and short. It's got some wrenches. It does have some bits here, you can see. But I'll tell you what's interesting about that is that, you know, a lot of the kits that you get, they're like, oh, man, it's a 200-piece it's a or it's a 300-piece. You open it up, and it's like 500, <laughs> five, four-fifths of it, let's say, is just driver bits. That's, that's kind of not really cool. And it'll have like a three-eighths ratchet with some adapters so you can use the other sockets. This one comes with... And they're nice. They, you know, I've been using this here to fix up this last one here, but they're like 80 tooth, you know, fine tooth. They're actually pretty decent quality. They're rebuildable and, uh, you know, nice polished chrome. So it's a pretty cool kit. I'd say Vavor has treated me well over the years, but they make some really nice stuff. Uh, you know, some of their stuff's hit or miss, but this is definitely one of their hits, I would say. But anyway, got this, this mower here is DLT 3000. Again, tire issues mainly. And some damage to the body on this one, but the uh, the reason that this thing came up for sale was the uh, the deck broke on it, like the one of the spindles broke off and caused some serious damage underneath. I think the cable's no good, so this one's probably just a parts unit at this point. Yeah, but anyway, that's it's probably the newest one I have currently to mess with, and I don't know what I'll end up doing with that. Who knows? That's what I've been messing with today, trying to see if it, at least the engine's good. Then lastly, we got this old girl here. This is a uh, this is one of those snappers, 30-inch snappers. Interesting setup here. These things, and I don't know, like they were really popular for the longest time. I don't believe snapper makes anything anymore. I think they finally either went out of business or stopped making these little rear engines. But it's got a pretty good size engine, 15 and a half horsepower engine. Haven't seen if it'll run yet. It's, again, it's kind of on my list of things to do today. Um, it was raining pretty hard yesterday, so I didn't have a chance to play with this when we picked it up. But Dirty, very dirty, sitting in a barn. And of course, tires are shot. Although it looks like the fronts on this thing are like, I don't think they have air in them. I think they're those solid, yeah, those are solid rubber. So pretty tough ride, I'd imagine. But anyway, those are the projects. And again, I'd like to get your opinion on all these things I'm working on here at the farm. Like, what, what do you want to see? You want to see this on Farpoint Farms, which is, these are the videos that made that channel what it is. Or are you interested in seeing this split into another channel here at the, with the studio turning into, you know, this half being tractors and such and, and this half still being radios? I'm kind of curious to hear your opinion on it. So you'll have to leave a comment and let me know. Till next time, my friends. Take care.